Chelsea from We Ladies 3 and I'm here to bring you my early 2017 book haul. This is going to be my book haul between January and now, um, middle of June. I'm not buying any more books this month. I didn't really read a lot in May so I want to make sure that I'm not just continuing to increase my TBR pile because it is plenty big as it is. If you've seen the list, you know how big my TBR pile is. And of course that is located on our blog. So um, I just wanted to go over some. Some of these were on the list. Some of these I picked up for our fantasy bingo um, or based off of reviews I saw both on booktube and on our fantasy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my first book and that's um, from Barnes and Noble. I picked up a copy of Dreamer's Pool by Juliette Marillier. Um, this book is part of her Blackthorn and Grimm series. It's the first book in that series. Um, she's more well known for her, I believe it's called Seven Waters. Yeah, Seven Waters series. And I'm really excited to get to this one. I do have the first Seven Waters book, but um, it's not, I just have some hesitancy about it, but I heard about this the other day and this one seems a little bit more up my um, liking. This one is about a healer who forgoes vengeance and decides to assist anyone who asks for help. She's working together with a former prison mate named Grimm and they live on the fringe of a mysterious forest. A prince needs their help so they get involved and I'm just really interested in this. This seems a very um, kind of mystical setting, so I'm excited to get into it. The next book that I have, I picked up at Second and Charles, and this is A Corna by Anne McCaffrey. This is a science fantasy book. Um, Anne McCaffrey does a really good job of that. She's most well known for her massive Pern series. And um, this is about a young girl with a tiny horn in the center of her forehead. Um, and she has several curious powers. So it's about her journey. It's about, um, it says here, the prosperity of the planet is based on child slave labor. So it's about trying to get, become free and things like that. So I'm really interested in this. I have the second and third book. Uh, my fellow lady, Lauren, um, was getting rid of them. So I needed the first book so I could read those two because I've always liked Anne McCaffrey's writing. Next on my list is Dagger Spell by Catherine Kerr. And this was purchased at a half price books. I tend to purchase mass market paperbacks. You're going to see a lot of them simply because they're easier to carry with me when I travel. So this one is about a young girl named Jill who has some extraordinary friends from a forgotten past and a fateful future. It seems like an epic fantasy. There was an author appreciation written up on our fantasy about this author that really intrigued me um, as she is one of uh, the first female epic fantasy authors. So I'm really excited to get into this and it's part of a very large universe. So there's a lot that I can read if I decide that this is a series I enjoy. Next I have Violations. This is the fourth book in the Star Trek Voyager series that travels alongside the TV show. I'm watching the TV show for the first time. Um, Brenda and Lauren are both huge fans, so they finally convinced me to come around to watching it. Um, I'm in the middle of the fourth season and I decided to kind of start picking up the books as well. I picked up the second and the third. The first book is simply a novelization of an episode, so I felt it was unnecessary. Um, and these have just been kind of interesting, especially because sometimes I don't feel like watching TV. And this, you know, keeps me attached to those characters and helps me stay attached to them when I take a break from watching Netflix. So um, I'm really excited about this. This one looks like it stars Janeway and Bellana, who are two of my favorite characters. So I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this. Next on my list is The Bone Dolls Twin by Lynn Flewelling. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce her name. Um, I heard good things about this on our, our on our fantasy. So again, that's why I picked this up. I don't know a lot about it. I was just going through a bunch of different female authors and um, learning about them and reading, you know, some of the descriptions of her books. And this one definitely seemed interesting. There's a couple people in there that absolutely love it. So I decided I might as well give it a try when I found it at a used bookstore. I'm very excited. Again, this was picked up at a half price books um, to dive into this hopefully soon and add it to my massive TBR list. And another half price books purchase. Actually, I might. These two were both picked up at a bookstore called Lucky Dog Books. Um, so this is 
Magician Apprentice and Magician Master. Um, both of these books are set in the Rift War saga by Raymond E. Feist. It's a massive saga. There are actually different authors involved. He co-wrote several trilogies in that um, universe. So I'm excited to get into this. Again, top 100 fantasy on our fantasy, so I had to pick it up. It's about a young boy named Pug who apprentices himself to a master magician, Colgan, and the politics and the fate of the world is basically in his hands. So I'm really eager to get into these and check them out. And then next on my list is The Gaddy's Tale. This was picked up at a Half Price Books. And this one was kind of an impulse buy for me. I've heard absolutely nothing about it. I haven't looked it up on Goodreads. Um, but it is about a world that um, has been colonized because people had to leave Earth. And there are humans and these things called Gaddy's, which are um, bond mates, basically, to the human. Uh, it's a telepathic cat-like being is how it's described. Um, I just saw it and I love cats as you can tell and I really wanted a fun book that started cat-like creatures. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this. I, like I said, I haven't heard anything about it. So it's just kind of a new thing that I'm going to try. Move these. Okay. So those are the books that I bought um, at, like I said, some came from Half Price Books, some came from Lucky Dog Books, Second and Charles, and Barnes and Noble. Now I have my Powell's haul. I went to the Powell's bookstore in Portland, Oregon. Um, in April, I was able to visit a friend there and she, um, we drove down together to check out the bookstore and buy a bunch of books. So that's what the next ones are going to come from. We're going to start off with Louis McMaster Bejeweled's The Sharing Knife. This is the first book in the, sh uh, the Sharing Knife yeah, series. Louis McMaster Bejeweled wrote The World of the Five Gods, which is one of my all-time favorite fantasy series of all, of ever, ever, ever. Um, her writing is beautiful. Her characters are deep. It's just fantastic. I love her science fiction series as well, um, but I really fell in love with the just world that she was creating in the world of the five gods. So I was interested in continuing on with her fantasy series. I own most of her sci-fi series and I'm eager to get back into that. But this really um, was where I wanted to go back to with her. I've heard it has a little bit more romance, which I can't wait to see how she handles. So I'm very eager to get into this book series. The next book is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. This one is um, a National Book Award finalist and it's gotten a lot of good hype here on booktube. That's where I first found out about it. I also saw a tweet from Maggie Stiebotter saying, um, recommending to someone that they read this book. So that automatically caught my interest. I love Maggie Stiebotter. Um, and if she recommended it, I'm definitely willing to give it a shot. I also needed a book to read for my dystopian pick. Um, for our fantasy bingo and this one qualifies. So that's why I picked it up. Um, you guys know that this is about uh, settlements of an altered world and people kind of moving around and interacting with each other. There's a violent prophet that threatens some people. So I'm really eager to get into this. Next Powell's book is Rider at the Gate. This one I hadn't heard anything about. Um, when I bought it, but my friend that I was with said that she read it and really enjoyed it and thought that me as a fellow horse person would also really like it. Um, it is about of people that uh, are linked with horses called night horses. And um, she just really highly recommended it to me. So when I found it again used, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to pick it up and bring it home to read it. So really looking forward to this. Uh, again, um, this author did have a author appreciation at our fantasy written. So I am um, looking forward even more since I've read that to get into the series. Then I have Silverthorn. This is the third book in the um, continuation here of the Raymond E. Feist Rift War. So I picked it up when I found it for cheap. The next book that I got from Powell's is Winterwood by JC Bedford. This is the first book in the Rowan Kind series. Um, and this was a completely guilty pleasure buy. I have been eyeing it for a while, just intrigued by the fact that there is a woman dressed as a pirate with a wolf on the front of it. Um, 
and the back of it is kind of ridiculously cheesy sounding. Uh, it's about Ross Tremaine. She is a widowed cross-dressing privateer captain and an unregistered witch who lives her life on the high seas um, and basically haunted by her late husband, Will. They get along great. Anyways, um, eventually she meets Corwin. He's handsome, sexy, clever, capable. And this just seems like something that would be a ton of fun and to read a good summer book. Um, so I picked it up. Finally, like I said, I've been eyeing it for a while, but I'm really glad I did. I've actually started it. It's got a lot more depth to it than I originally thought it would. So I'm eager to continue reading this one. The next book I picked up from Powell's is Curse of the Mist Race, Mist Wraith. Um, this is part of an epic fantasy series, The Wars of Light and Shadow by Jani Wirtz. Heard tons of great things about the series on Our Fantasy. It's on one of the, you know, top 100, um, lists that they have over there. So I just really wanted to pick it up, especially because it's written by a female author and get into her writing. So I'm very eager to get into this. It is quite large. Um, it's 600, a little over 600 pages. Um, so it's going to take me a while. I've been, I'll probably put it off for a little bit because I'm enjoying my faster summer reads right now. But when I want something dense, this is definitely where I'm going to go. The next thing, and last book that I bought at Powell's is Night's Shadow by Sebastian de Castell. And this is the second book in the Great Coat series. This book has been getting a lot of hype, or this series overall really, has been getting a lot of hype both here on BookTube and on our fantasy. So I absolutely wanted to pick it up. Um, I have the first book in the series. I haven't read it yet, but Lauren did, and I knew once I finished it, I'm going to want to dive straight into the second book. So this was Bert bought in advance so that I can just go straight to it and continue with this series once I get into it. Um, I am really looking forward to reading A Trader's Blade. I have two other books that I forgot to mention earlier, both have price buys, and these are some trade paperbacks, which is why they weren't in the stack earlier, and it's Shadowfell by Juliet Morillier and The Sight by Chloe Neal. Um, this is the first book in a series by Juliette Miller-Rillier, and it is a young adult series. So I picked it up because um, I wanted, again, to get into her writing, and I found it on sale for a really good price at Half Price Books. Um, I'm interested in getting into it, but I really don't know anything that it's about. So um, it looks really cool, though. And then The Sight is the second book of the Devil's Isles series by Chloe Neal. I absolutely adore her Chicagoland Vampire series. So when she started publishing her new series, I've picked them up. I still haven't read the first book in the series. I picked it up last year. Um, but I will definitely get to it. And when I found this at a used bookstore, I had to pick it up so I could have it to continue on because I do tend to like to read through series pretty quickly. Um, I find if I put too much time in between each book, I forget what happened. So yeah, that's the site. And then I have two bookish items that I want to show you. And these are from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, um, Hogsmeade from Universal Studios in Hollywood. And so the first thing here is my chocolate frog. Um, this is really cool. This is chocolate frog like in the Harry Potter books. It comes with the wizarding card and the frog is solid chocolate. Just FYI, it's not hollow, but it's really solid and it's really good chocolate. I had another one that we as a group opened um, and we've enjoyed it. This one I'm saving to open with my family because my sister really likes Harry Potter. So this one is going to be the one that I open with them. Um, and it was really cool walking around Honeydukes and being able to pick out candy, just like from the movies. And then I got an owl um, from the post office in Hogsmeade. This is a little horned owl. They definitely had plenty of headwigs, but I liked this guy. I thought he was really cute. Um, and I wanted, you know, my own post owl. So. Uh, I haven't given him a name yet. I probably ought to name him soon, but he's gonna hang out and protect my books and Just watch over everything. And like I said, he's really cute. He's a little horned owl. They had a variety of types there I was really impressed um, And I chose buying an owl over buying a wand number one because he was a lot cheaper and um, Number two just because he's a lot cuter and I can definitely see this being something that I can move from bookshelf to bookshelf 
Um, the wands are really cool, especially the interactive ones that you can use in Diagon Alley, but they were really, really expensive. And um, I wanted to, you know, buy some candy and things like that. I also got some peppermint toads, but I ate them all. So um, yeah, this is my little horned owl. Anyways, this is my book haul. I've got quite a few books and some bookish items. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's one of these books that you want to see me get to and review in the near future. I love getting suggestions like that. It helps keep me motivated to read. So please comment below. Let me know which book you'd like to, me to read next. Check out the list um, on our blog if you want to see my extensive TBR list. That's massive. And I hope you guys have a great summer. It's summertime now. Enjoy, get some reading done, and I will see you guys later.